One of the things I love best about fall are apples. And some of my fondest memories are when my boys were little, we'd go to the apple orchard and we'd come home with this huge bag of apples. And that same day we would work on apple crisp and we'd all participate and we would have so much fun. The house would smell good and then afterward we'd have this delicious warm dessert to eat together. So today I'm going to show you an easy, easy, easy apple crisp that is so much fun for children to help you with in the kitchen. It involves apples, but you don't have to peel them, you don't have to chop them or slice them. You just cut them in half and take out the core. It's easy to take out the core. I'm use, you can use any kind of a spoon really, but what I found really works well is just a small little round measuring spoon. I'm using a quarter teaspoon, it seems to be a good size, and you just just put it right into the middle of the apple and just kind of gradually scoop out that core with the seeds and it comes right out. Just like that. And then I sometimes I leave the stem on if I want it to look a little bit pretty, but I take out that little blossom end. There we go. So I have two apples that I've cut in half. I put them in a little baking dish and the topping I'm going to mix up will fill these four halves of apples. So I'm going to start by putting just two tablespoons of butter into a little mixing bowl. And then the rest is so easy and simple. I've got two tablespoons of flour and a quarter cup of just quick oats and two tablespoons of brown sugar and a little pinch, maybe two little pinches of cinnamon. And then you can use a fork or children just love using their fingers to mix this up. So just mix it up until it's crumbly. The butter is blended with the dry ingredients. And I'm just going to stuff it right in to that little cavity in the apple half. And I'll put some right along the edges too. And what I like to do before I put it into the oven is just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the dish and then into the water, I just pop one cinnamon stick and that just infuses more flavor into the apple and it makes your house smell so good too. So right out of the oven, the apples are nice and soft. They hold their shape. The topping is crunchy and sweet and cinnamony. It's so good. And for an extra special treat, top it with a little bit of vanilla ice cream. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.